Hi, my name is Sasha Wyman. I am an ACM practitioner at Amtra Solutions. And for today's tech tip, I'm going to be showing you categories in Outlook and in Microsoft Teams. So let's get started. So categories have existed in Outlook for a long time. Uh, if we click on any email in our inbox, we've got a categorize field here where we can go ahead and use default categories. We can create new categories. Uh, we can color code them, whatever we like, and then we can also set up shortcut keys. And so you can go through and you can create categories that are applicable to your work. So um, you can tag events as well. So maybe you need to get a presentation ready beforehand. You can create a category that tags that event as you needing to do some presentation prep. You can also do the same thing with Outlook emails. Um, you can always rename them later on, change the color and delete them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And so you can see I've got a categorized column in my inbox. I'm just going to unclick that. You can quickly set categories here if you like. So to do that, you can um, go to the set quick click. And if you're going to have one category that you're going to be applying often to your inbox, you can go ahead and you can choose that. So I'm going to choose this one. So then anytime you click, it's automatically going to be applying that category to the email. Or you can right click and you can choose your different categories. Now you can also filter your inbox by your categories. So if you hit the filter here and then you go ahead and select categories, you can see that my inbox is automatically changing um, and creating a menu of just those category items. So this is a really good way to keep your inbox organized. You can also search by categories in the top box. So very easy to find what you need. Now if we go to our calendar, the same thing applies here. We can click on any calendar event and you can see I get a categorized window here. I can also right click and I can choose my categories from here. So you can go ahead and do that and it'll change your event to that specific color. So a really good way of visually seeing what that event is about or maybe a task that you need to do along with that um, event. And then you can always clear your categories and you can also apply more than one. So if you know you're going to um, need a review of it, you can go ahead and do that and then do that. And then you can see that it applies the categories on the far right. You'll see a little kind of a little indicator of the categories that you have attached to this event. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear all those categories. So you can apply as many categories as you want, like I said. But we can also um, go into Teams now. And so what they've done is they have made categories available in Microsoft Teams. So if you were using it in the past, you might notice that your calendar events and Teams are now colored. So you can right click on any event now and you can use those categories that you have in Outlook um, and you can apply them here. So you can see I can go through and now on Microsoft Teams, I have this really nice visual indicator of what my events are about. So I can apply more than one, of course, so you can see the check mark there, or if I want to clear those. So you can do this in either location, they'll synchronize together. This is just a really good way of seeing what your upcoming events are. And another um, recent update is if you are a to-do user, um, this is only available in the online version of to-do right now, but you can click into any task and you can go ahead and you can pick a category from Outlook from here too. So it'll show up right underneath. So give categories a try. There's other things you can do like apply conditional formatting. Uh, so that your events are auto tagged, your emails are auto tagged at the category. Um, it's a really great way to stay organized and have a visual um, indicator of what's upcoming in your calendar. So have a great day. Thank you.